the fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shah of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othnir, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord.
Don't worry, Torrin. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order.
Oh, yes. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for Evas, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. And I can also that you're not up then why not purge? I am Kale. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. You know, you should buy yourself a, cra a crafting kit of essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are Maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it 
to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principle. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the Earth Tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale, is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hole gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Greetings. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold Covert quarters of the Two Fingers, and gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Look at you, boy. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. 
but she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. No, there's only too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lifely vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, oh, my thanks, great champion. You are very warm. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, and goodness knows that would be a surprise. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Ah, hello. I'm, well, just the honor of... By the way. She's my servant. Take your eyes off her if you find her. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost... Honestly, she's such a little tumble. Well, I took you for dead. 
No matter, it's all this lay out your arms then. The girl. What? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute? Absurd. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know. Good to see you again. I have you to thank, don't I? I can happily announce I'm as yet unsure of what I but if I might and if there's any chance to ease the suck, well I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit chew. Your arm. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Dear me. <laughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, I am Albus, and we're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wit. I beg you. Would you look after this? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land. The medallion is the key that leads to Tony a quaint treasure. But for dear Latin.
Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? My name is Irina. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander, I... I, the servants, are... they've since come for... I fear it's no please. Would you mind taking it in my soul wishes that he... Please. Thank you. Then please... Deliver it to my father. Please. He can be stubborn. There's a face I've not seen, Edgar. Warden of this camp. You can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all in a foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But we'll take this by way of apology. I see. From thank you. I mean, you're dead. I can't leave yet. Even to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her. Death for keeping the sword from those are no longer bound by duty. But thanks to you, I will be re and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gent. I only hope it remains. Arena, how could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done.
in search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Yes, that's the... You're just the... Con I pray for your success. Use that opening to put the guards having to clue up your slip right inside undetected. Of course, I, when you approach the gates, I'll see it's only your neck on the line after. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle, when I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still. I won't forget how it felt when I first came here. 
to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. Be proud. You are a You're only mistaken the master. Let the wounds lift you to a higher place. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well.
Wait, why do I you why do you have two? Uh huh. What's the difference? Do either of them record in 4K or capture in 4K? Uh. Hmm. How much was it? Oh, you little baby bitch. Ah, uh, that's not too bad, I guess. Oh, I just barely dodged that. Me va a dar un putazo. A la verga! I can only imagine if my sister's here, she's probably screaming her fucking lungs out. Pablo, shut the fuck up! <laughs> but I can't hear her because I have both my headphones on. <laughs> oh, I jumped over it. Oh my god. I'm probably going to kill him this time, but I'm recording, so... Ah! Or, but I'm, but I'm talking, so I can't really save this as a viable record. I guess maybe I'll just record this and then upload it onto something else. Mega cheese! Okay, one more hit and he should be good. I did that for insurance, but I don't know if that was good. <sighs> yeah! Oh, wrong button. There we go. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Well, well. Another fool who won't listen to reason, eh? But with a prowess for weeding death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death, and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garan, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you. Of it, it will lead you to Garan, the beast clergyman. What is it? Still, the map indicates where the gateway it will lead you to Garank, the beast. What is it? The map indicates where it will lead you to Garank. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person. And if they were like you, all the better. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? 
once more. Now, come closer. You are so very warm. I was known as a dead. Vigor. From a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. If I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Then good day to you. My dear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> with a man named Roger. He knew me. The piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He don't let his easy air deceive you. He was no more, though. You see him now. Ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling like he's half dead already. 
I can take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live when grace is sullied. It rots people from the inside. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. Down. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well. Though I ask you deliver this message to the round table home. I am Fia. Deathbed Park Round Table. Disturb not the death of Godwin. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise.
they sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Darrowell is nothing but a traitor. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. Ah, right. There you are. Had to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. Oh, yes. I should say, if you venture north to Rhea Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. That's enough chit chat for now. It's time we parted ways. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are tarnished? Oh, pardon me. I am E.G., an old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on the perhaps you'd like a display. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Brave Tarnished. A word of warning if you this territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. When the Rhea Lucaria Academy turned on the Carians, after leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they like conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, unless you wish to lie to the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare, but whatever you do, brave Tarnished. Blythe actually did that. Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. In. I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine. And my... Well, I've had my say. a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. The words of the two fingers cannot truly, naught but rambling, I believe, even worse. But that's the part that irks them most. Oh, I have a gift for you, something. A means for circumvent. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, I have high hopes for you. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. 
There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace. <laughs> Your lot.
pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog. Luminary Moog has strength. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm. Yes. Who? Now, take this for your final trial. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden, and but since you are maidenless, the cloth, the blood of anyone's. Lambkin, you've completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Heavens, clench your teeth or something. No! Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Ah, it is trying, but we must be patient. One day you will be elevated, deservedly, basking in love. Right, my lambkin? <laughs> Hmm. A tarnished here. Thou must have some business in mind to come all this way. Though I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. 
that I might one day upend the whole of it. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed. There is in my service. I would have thee join in. I have called for Pa, ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salem. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. I am sure the others... Speak with the three. Thou needst not. It hath been a passing... Oh, so you were the one. Again, I am the Carian Ro I am told that I will give you... My apologies for the misleading word. I never imagined that an audience, let alone I for one, should have seen it. Do forgive me. Let us give all that we can of ourselves together for late. Hmm. Not life. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Ryan. Well, getting right. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokra. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I see. Yes. Yes, I've heard all of I am Salovis. I don't know what it is, the mistress, but since we have the miss, I ask that you kindly... I reside in another tower. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish... If it were up to me, I wouldn't... But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? Ah, I shall soon enter my slumber. This doll's body is not without its sin. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I'll... Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from are we understood? I have enough on my... Ah. Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me, but I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are.
I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Ah, a yen for glimstone sorceries. Well, your aptitude does appear passable, but one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch, do you still wish to learn from me? <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protégé in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle, or cast kind words. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Well, well. Salavis is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my... The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too... Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radan! Mightiest demigod of the Shattering awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the General, claim glory, and grab that great rune! A celebration of war! The Radan Festival! Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture.
General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky.
Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha! <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something at that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Barani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth, and we'll go into battle again, side by side. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fang. The curtain's rising, and the final act. Ah, hello there. Oh, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my insides to come spilling out. After that, I... I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. But don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Hm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honorable death. Finally, my work is done. I am no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. It's time I went on my way. May we meet again if the fates deign it, brave champion. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Then, you're not one of them? Well... <laughs> Then, you're not one of them. 
<laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Alvas and Alvinorek, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. And if you should meet the young Albinorek Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorex. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorex. <laughs> Well then, may the golden ord... Ah. Greetings, are you here for spirit? Well, I took you for no matter to relay out your own. Please, would you like me to hold you once more? Now. You are so very warm. My dear, might I? Ask something of you. Could you please find the owner of this dagger? A certain person gave it to me. It's a very precious so I would like for the orig- I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave. It's a very precious thing. I'd like you to find it's a very then good day to you, my dear.
Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Earth Tree. The Two Fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished, and we must answer the call of grace. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's East. And by my reckoning, Radan remains there, even now. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the... But I suspect you know that well enough already. Something. Well, how did you... Well, I know very well who... Why don't I return it to them? Good work, bringing this to... Finally, it is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the Round Table Hold. I am Via, deathbed companion. Hark round, we live in wait. What right does our lord...
it's my doubts. But only once before have I seen to... Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. Ah. He Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood, the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. General Radan. The general was blighted by scarlet rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement, nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs, and the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground where the fallen star struck Limgrave and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. Oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you not to bother waiting for him and head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given an important task, apparently a matter of great urgency. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone, where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours, the precious treasure of Nokron, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path 
of the Empyrean. Oh, it's you. It's me, Blythe. Old E.G. trapped me here. Told me I'd bring north the bell to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of her being. A very shadow. I thought old E.G. knew as much. Honestly. I don't know what's going on anymore. My thanks, friend. I'm going to see Mistress Rani now. I don't know what came over old E.G. But even if the odds are slim, I need to check the mistress is safe. Now, Rani can finally set in motion the fight against her fate she's dreamt of for so long. Greetings, my fellow. I presume you've spoken with Blythe? Very well. There is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow, incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad. Transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized. For Lady Rani's sake. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me! I'm stuck! Hello? Hello? Anyone? As you can surmise, I've got myself stuck in another hole. Would you mind helping me out again? My thanks in advance. I know you're the woman for the job. You know what to do, hmm? Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. Don't worry about my wound sustained at the festival. I'm stuck back together good and proper. <laughs> Just give it your all. Come on, give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. Come on. Up to split in half. Yeah, yeah. I can feel my lower half is stuck on something. I don't think you can get me out just by hitting me this time. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think. Perhaps there's a way to slide me out a little more smoothly. I, what if I could somehow be made slippery or some such?
Oh. my face back me from the other end the other end by the gods you are all this will have me as slippery as a toad huh. right Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and... My thanks to you and your razor-sharp wits. Oh. As a token of my thanks, I'd like you to have this. Dear me, I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> yeah, there were countless oil jars back where I'm from, actually. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. <laughs> yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it, I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my mawkishness. To walk the path of champions, one cannot cleave to the past. I'm headed to the Fiery Mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames. Ah, I've decided to... I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. May the Golden Order shine through you. Journey to the capital. The two fingers will deny your path. You may be out. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. You? Yeah, you there! Stop pretending you can't see me! Well, why won't anyone look me in the eye? I, I'm not that ugly, am I? Do that for? 
Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yes. I remember. Some Claude turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Well, then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm... I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right, but I'll need... Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to... Master, do you uh, remember me? Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Why won't you love me? All right. I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why it will be no. I'm trying to be like you, Baba. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. Once again, I'm pleased to make you a friend. Yeah, no, I think this is uh, this is the look from now on. Surely you see 
girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice. Or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft. And it isn't easy. Little Calva. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. My beloved, have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. A 
upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Granala of the full moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Sweetings, come out from whence ye hide. There are books to be better born anew. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. Be not alarmed, nor a fear. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. Again, divorce from one's trade does not come easily. 
utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent, and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Master, did you see it? The... the Erd Tree? I... Oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so... so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The Erd Tree is waiting for you, Master. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and unshackle my trapped in the pox. can kill in the pox. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Encher got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensho is slain and gone, finished, forevermore. Ah, yes, by way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I am sure. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree, the Unalloyed, his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman, Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune, so here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost right known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Ah. You have returned. What is it?
Then, of course. Head to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Carry on with your journey. Don't bother holding yourself up for my sake. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. It seemeth thou art a sweeting rather fair, and if thou wert born anew once more, thou wouldst be fairer still. Ye will be countless born forever. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to yet again be born anew? Be not alarmed. Nor a fear, I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine.
the seamster. Are your servant ready to make a... Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know, but I... Well? You've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But... I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or... Would you rather hand that portion to me? and see if we can't get one over on the bastard. Well, I won't force you, but I think your plan would be a dreadful waste. She's not herself right now, and though I have no need of her, she still has potential. Certainly more value than she'd have as a bloody puppet. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father... Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... 
Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. <sighs> Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm... Not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. And another buy of cool. Thank you, kind soul, for learning my poultry sorceries. I never imagined that a blunt stone like myself would have the chance to play teacher. Oh, did I not mention I'm a blunt stone? I don't even have a pebble's worth of power. So I'm afraid I can't help you decipher the scroll. I'm sorry I'm so useless. I truly am. Head to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Carry on with your journey. Press forward with your fight. Don't bother holding yourself up for my sake.
Greetings. Do you need anything? Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what have we? Very well, let heresy is not native to the world. All things can be conjoined. It's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said that the great statue harbors his secret too. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The Order of the Erdry and the fate of the Moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the Church to this day. And so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I want a pilgrimage. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers emaciated yet still they give me the grapes but you seem somehow firmer you are most kind indeed may the blessing of the fingers be upon you you are most kind indeed may the blessing of the hello is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Hello? Is some would you donate I'm on a pilgrimage when I eat one of Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabriri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold.
That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were... <laughs> Sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I apologize. I'll be fine. <laughs> I apologize. You only... I'll be fine. Ah. Is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail. So faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Oh, hello. Is that you over there? Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. I would truly love to try one. The distant light seems far closer than before. But I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes anymore. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> oh, how sweet. Yet, how it burns. <laughs> Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia 
right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? <laughs> if you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. Awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. <laughs> Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> Now, all you need do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot, but how? Decided, I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <sighs> well, that was easier than expected. Why do I feel so... I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you. I would like you to have this, by way of thanks, a token though it is. I'm considering leaving, on a journey, with the needle buried in my flesh, 
I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here. But I've only found emptiness. Perhaps, before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. Thank you kindly. For giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Salians, descendants of the Eternal. did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. Do... do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the Gold Mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. May the Golden Order shine through you. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble Gold Mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the Great Master's cogitation. The Master is always deep in contemplation, while I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom. I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. May the Golden Order shine through you. Oh, 
matter. Please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. But the Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before us. Why must these qualms? We were on the very cusp. Was that you? Yes, the Master is still ceased. And after coming all this way, why now, of all times? Who exactly was Radic? The Master is stumped. His finger has rem. But the Erd. Why we were on the. F What on earth did you do to the Master? Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. So I'd like to pass this on to you instead. A glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order. Documented by yours truly.
Thanks for your help there. That bloody finger was a thorn in my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. She is the deadliest of all bloody fingers. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess-blood zealotry, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. There is no shame in self-preservation. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian, and now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only, he too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. 
Please, I must have the necklace back. The thug should be resting at an abandoned. What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start something. Piss off before I crack you in half. Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. I think you're bloody clever, do you? Then how about you piss off for I'll crack you in half? This bloody swine. Decided to play ball now, have you? You'll be wanting the necklace then. You're a shrewd one. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet the price. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. the girl did you all right well sod the particulars of the matter but it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped is it anyway she ain't all right that one look if she ain't died on the bloody roadside i reckon you're tarnished too ain't you can you see it then the guidance of grace i mean i can't see it at all no more Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between? Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or can trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. should be resting at least. I must have the neck. Oh yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart, merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. 
Please, take this. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff, at the base of the valley. Near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you, a champion. Through and through, I do hope that we can meet again.
There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glinstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos. No matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars, such as his body now. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh, uh, please do... You're beautiful. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Did I just hear my mum speaking? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my kind master, let me hear her voice. Ah, oh, please, if I may dream just once. Do you feel the same way my mum did, master? Do you think I'm beautiful, despite these looks? <laughs> oh. Master, kind master, I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. Please do. Good. I'll do go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold.
Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorcerous arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion. Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much if I had to begin with. for another lesson so soon. Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your offishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. for any offence given. I am Pidia, servant to the Carrion royal family. I am charged with maintaining these ghastly dolls. Ah, your worship, allow me to be of use. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? But please, can you offer poor ill-starred Pidia a little something by way of compensation?
sorry your worship but poor pindia has given all he has i can't be of further use to you please forgive me please find it in your heart forgive me Begging for another lesson, so uh, tell me. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? But I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. I can hardly just give them away. Oh dear, what's to be done? Why don't you fetch me some starlight shards? If you can manage it, I'll gladly prepare a new puppet for you. The soul of every puppet has its own ambience. You'll soon come to know once you possess a few. And once each is predilections are known to you, the better you will be able to love them. Oh yes. You have much to look forward to further down this road. Begging for another lesson, so uh, tell me. You're proving to be quite the puppeteer. I've not had an apprentice for a very long time indeed. How's the puppet I gave you? A thing of exquisite craft, is it not? Perhaps you'll be interested in a little scheme of mine. It will produce the finest of puppets, which I aspire to cherish with these very hands. A ploy to fool even Lady Rani. How does that sound? Ah, I knew I had you pegged. You're just like me. Then I'd like you to procure something. A rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Well, well. You managed to lay your hands on it. The blessed day is finally upon us. Goodness gracious, the way it glistens. Utterly enchanting. To think this was once a demigod's very fate. My, oh my, oh my. Ah. Are you still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please. It's all yours. It's splendid work. It's just marvelous. Now just you wait. The merriment is soon to begin. The scheme I promised is to be revealed very shortly. for you. It's finally complete. The perfection of my draft gleaming nectar sweet. Give it to Rani and ensure she drinks it. The dead-eyed doll lets down her guard in your presence rather remarkably. Though she might dip her hands in the dirt and feign that icy persona She's a frail, gentle girl at heart. You understand, don't you? That once you have Rani drink my draft, my scheme will come to fruition. And we... Well... We'll be in a position to claim the very finest puppet ever crafted. Just imagine the pure elation.
my apprentice. Give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy's shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice. And a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please, take it. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glintstone. A star has fallen, and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I am trusted with you, myself. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. Treat it with care, my apprentice. What you hold is my very being.
I hardly expected to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Real Acaria's academy. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually, in another body. A sickening thought, but one that won't stop gnawing at me. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually, in another body. A sickening thought. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy. To expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice. I owe this all to you. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Kari. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current. So that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I, no, the entire Academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice. 
become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. What is it, my apprentice?
What you want? I told the all-hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. 
The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Lanyu. Oh, Lanyu. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. Tell me if you know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. I, Dialos, swear to deliver the message. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path, I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. The dead-eyed doll lets down her guard in your presence rather remarkably. Though she might dip her hands in the dirt and feign that icy persona, she's a frail, gentle girl at heart.
Let me out. Let me out of here. Must eat more. Defile more. Everything that matters to you. For generations to come. I am the Dung Eater. A scourge upon the living. Who are you? I've been here long enough. I will kill again. And defile each corpse with care. Just to be sure that when they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Along with their children and their children's children for all time to come. I will kill again, just to be shall be good. Ah, you again, is it? The recusant sent a lackey. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did? I can scarcely believe it myself. Did they think me a fool? You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then I only had to ask. The location of the recusant hideout. It's on Mount Gelmir, found off the old road that leads west from the town of Windmills. That's where they hide. The manor on the peak. Just you wait, wretched recusants. You'll rue the day you insulted my name by laying hands on Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood, after all.
graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Reichardt. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth, last of all kings. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. I wish to journey with you, once more, to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, 
upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. What are you looking at? Oh, you again, is it? Perfect bloody timing, Ashley. I got cram cooked up fresh. Hey, there's something I should probably tell you. You heard of the Dung Eater? He's a madman. Has it out for everyone. Curses him. Goes round in his rank armor and all. You see him though. Stay well away. I was in the same jail as him once, so I know first hand. He's a god forsaken monster. Not just some petty thug like me. He's a killer. Kills people. And curses the souls. Does all sort of shit to the corpses. To keep them cursed forever. I ain't seen nothing more disgusting in all my years. I never been more scared neither. Rooted to the bloody spot. Molly did that. To my friend. Yeah. And now I seen it here again. Never thought I would. What he does to those bodies. It was. It was him. No question. That monster. He's lurking round there. Never met someone with a taste for crab I couldn't trust. You've got a real thing here, eh? And it's only getting better. To the forge of the flame of ruin in the snowy mountain tops of the giants you'll need to find the grand lift of ruled beyond the forbidden region or go if you would take no heed of cardinal sin the two fingers lost their purpose a long long time ago there you are you warded off my blessing Despite the curse stirring within you, no one has succeeded in that before. How? I thought. Then it hit me that you are, in fact, me. And I am the Dung Eater. It is my flesh that must receive the blessing. Give me your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seed bed curse again and again until it is done. Until a cursed ring coalesces and may one day defile order itself. Countless I have killed and countless I have defiled. And soon the fruits will be born. Hundreds will be reborn cursed. And they'll bear thousands of cursed children who bear tens of thousands more. A few of those will be born just like me. And they'll kill and defile and bless in my stead. 
The rotten fools. My fate was the grandest. Most brilliant of them all. My corporeal flesh lies in the sewer jail beneath the capital. Give it your blessing. Defile my flesh with the seedbed curse. Until a curse ring coalesces that may one day defile order itself. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Be on your guard, I beg you. He's back. The dung eater. Again. I can hear them. The spirits as they howl and lament in fear of the curse. And worse than ever, the reverberations of the twisted malice in itself. But after all this time, I've started to grasp it now. I can hear, in the malison, another fearsome order. Well, you managed to return. You know what this means. The Earth Tree has spurned you. The fingers remain still. Shaken by this turn of events, they are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage the wait? My, oh my. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? The rune of death goes by two names. The other is destined death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the rune now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you.
It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. I know I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done to reach the path beyond. And that is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow.
um, hello. Yes. Strange place for a chance encounter, huh? <laughs> well, I thought I could use a rest. Don't mind me. Go about your business. R right, over there. See that? Something shimmering. I swear. What is it? Oh, don't mind me. Off you trot. Right over there. Now, you see that? Something shimmering. I swear. What is it? Oh, don't mind. Right over there. Then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Best intentions, I've done you wrong. I have. But here you are, standing tall and proud. All's well that ends well, eh? And my warning was spot on. You tell me different. Stay clear of Volcano Manor. End of discussion. I heard the brutes there hunter tarnished like animals.
Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts? About the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor? And fight with us? Rise with us? Against the Erd Tree? Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. The serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign. But they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnished, I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. It is the only thing that can kill that horror. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable monstrosity. Ah. Oh, it I've... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um... I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize... Revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya, 
That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanyon knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying, I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Hello again, brave tarnished. It is a shame that I did not beckon you here with my own hand. But I am pleased that we meet again. Here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave Tarnished, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. The letter describes the task the Volcano Manor desires. You will be compensated once the... You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now you are a recusant true. I am pleased.
Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, Fi, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Sometimes I hear strange sounds beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Oh, perhaps I'm just feeling tired. So, you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal. A recusant just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts, styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion. Join the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Hatches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> Forgot something on your shopping list?
I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> a special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. You're still alive, I see. Well, until we meet again. Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual, despite this appearance. Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. I hear you help get the girl back on her feet. Though I'm not her foster father anymore, I'd still like to thank you. Sorry, for the time you had to waste. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? The voices of the tormented spirits are silent, but it isn't my last. I'm almost certain the spirits have escaped their confinement. Did you have anything to do with it, I wonder?
hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours, by right. Let us tread the path of the recusant together, till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry, but would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied... What an easy mark I must... Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. fingers turn back ahead lies the land of the giant's flame and the way forth is forbidden <sighs> be 
hear me? The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. Doing so will unbind destined death and slay the world itself. Who would dare put you up to such a task? Most certainly not the fingers. Is I, the tenor. We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halig Tree. that you stayed the path of champions. This is your usual reward. Please, 
take it. Perhaps you are ready. Might you see our Lord? Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. Another kindred spirit, treading the path of champions. Yes, as it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport you to the Lord's chamber. Farewell, then. May your visit be fruitful.
you doing another? Why, of course. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> Than another. Why, of course. Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Or perhaps one day you will pay me a visit? Who knows? I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs> again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Kaled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, she's passed into the. Are you giving me this arm? I thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think, if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. To think we'd meet in such a place, what could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again, in battle, should you have the need. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands.
nice to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility. But somehow, I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you, to be your scribe. <laughs> some time our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed dear Rikard, please find purchase within me i wish to be your serpent your family one day let us devour the gods together dear Rikard, please Find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Continue devouring my beloved lord. I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet one of them, cuz... I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up first. Those awful poachers. I hope Uncle Alexander beats them all up. Those awful poachers. Cuz, have you heard? A new potentate's come to the village. I think he said his name was Tialos. He seems a little down in the dumps, but his hands, as smooth as silk. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor. He says he isn't a warrior, and since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us, but I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Dialysis' smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us, but I... Dialysis' smooth and silky hands feel nice.
Well, aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the Volcano Manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like, for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. A fool I may be, but I can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? The Alice is smooth and silky, but I wish we had a... A fool I may be. Do you pity me? Jars. Are they all right? <clears throat> Did I defend them? Then all is well. This fool proved his worth in the end. you came but we're fine now dialos fought the poacher though quite a lot of us got broken <laughs> i won't cry though i'm a warrior jar a warrior the tale of house hoslo is told in blood that's the kind of warrior i want to be one day cuz even if I'm scared, I'll still fight to protect everyone. The tale of House Hos- That's the kind of one. House Hoslo is told in blood. That's the kind of warrior I'm going to be. One who protects everybody. The tale of that's the kind of warrior.
Thanks for coming back, cuz. I've been thinking. It's time for me to set out on a journey. As a warrior, Jar. Upon the path of champions. I'm about to go on a journey. As a warrior, Jar. In search of glory. I'm about to go on a journey. Oh, hello again, cuz. No, I haven't changed my mind. I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go. As a warrior, Jar. In search of glory. I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go. Do you hear me? It is I, Natana. We have reached the land of Mikla's Halig Tree, where Lobo and I began our travels. It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. These great snow-laden lands stretch far to the north, and beyond the ancient bowers, in the liturgical town of Ordna, lies the place to which I must return.
more. I must consume I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know, then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. is already sullied by thee, I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Imperium of the demigods. Only I, Nicola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age. 
which is when I received blight, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the rule of death, slew mine own Imperium flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the baleful shadows are their assassins. Even when I turned my back upon the two fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers. Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah, should I add thee to the list? Another one, kind of heart, as kind of heart as they. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. Welcome, welcome. How may I help? So, you gave Millicent a golden arm replacement. This is a wonderful development. Thank you for your kindness. Now, Millicent may fully realize her true warrior's potential, like her beautiful mother. The girl, Millicent, she is a bird, green and undeveloped, waiting to flower into magnificence. What a wondrous day that will be. In truth, before her, I'd never seen a bird of such superior quality. She might very well outshine her sisters. Do you have an interest in rot incantations? Then you might like to learn something of the history of Melania, goddess of scarlet rot. 
Queen Marika and her King Consort Radigan were blessed with twin demigods, and Melania was one of them. She was born an Empyrean carrying the Scarlet Rod. An Empyrean is no mere demigod. In the age of the Elden Ring and Queen Marika, the precious Empyrean was born, a new god to forge a new order. Since Melania fought Radan, and the great scarlet flower blossomed in Aeonia, I have dedicated myself to her, and to the resplendence of the Order of Rot, a cycle of decay and rebirth.
It was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more.
What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it, before the time comes we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead, and claim a second illustrious life you are my our true champion and though i can't be of any use to you can i hold you tight if only for a moment i will soon lay with godwin and it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. is goodbye my dear but i am satisfied i choose to lie with godwin of my own will not the remains of one chosen for me and i will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too what greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion
take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten whore. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> This is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Ah, oh, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts.
If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the Frenzied Flame alone. The Frenzied Flame is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, so please. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, Share them with me. Your thoughts. Your ambitions.
I ask you one more time, please seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord, when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, put a stop to this madness. The Lord of Frenzied Flame is no lord at all, when the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, shall I turn your root? Let my hand rest upon you. Share them with me. Your So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord. Go to the door ahead, after divesting yourself of your possessions. It will surely open, and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you.
beautiful young yet towering sister of ours let the birthing droplet in and create life for us for all the Albanorix. thank you I finally fulfilled my purpose our young yet towering sister will give us hope now that nothing is left unfinished I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Rewards off all who deign approach. We are, we are all forsaken. <laughs> None may claim the title of Elder and Lord. Thy deeds shall be met. Just as I. <sighs> ah, so the secret medallions led you to the land of the Halig Tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely. But with the Halig Tree as it is, I suppose Mikola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case though, I am certain of a kinship between us. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. 
that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot, the pride she abandoned, to meet Radan's measure. There is something I must return, the will, the dignity. So that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty, while he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers. Let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then... Maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. <laughs>
seek violence. Of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty, I am pain to the very depths of my being. I'm sure you regret this, my lambkin. Enjoy your miserable death. Grant the strength you promised. I have given everything. Please, my lord. Please answer me, Luminary Moog. Uh, 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 Bless the Mogwin dynasty with love.
Mikola. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. What is it? There are four more. Nicola, his twin, Luna Prince, and 
Rani is so here at the home. If you should learn, I'll trade you. We both desire as such. Well, I wonder what comes next. If he continues his slumber within the cocoon, all would be well. But perhaps it would be safer to destroy it. Nicola is the one thing that remains a mystery to me. Since my daughter, why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close, to becoming the fairest of all flowers. Would you disown us, too, as your mother did? We children of the Scarlet Rot. Millicent. Melania. Do you detest us so utterly? Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell. Whoever put you up to this, that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The Scarlet Rot rides now, worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Go. 
curse laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm.
I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat.
I finally met my match. Uh, you. What is it? So, the Halic Tree. Now but a husk. I heard speculation Mikola embedded himself in the Halic Tree. But, before he could finish, someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed. It seems those words held weight. How vexing. That the all-knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Well, what is it now? I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Tell me when you are fully prepared. Are you ready to commit a cardinal sin? Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Guiding me here. The one who walks alongside Flame shall one day meet the road of destined death.
Erd tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the Erd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and seal it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end, for knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who's to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? as one who aspires to become Elden Lord. Well, what is it now? Take a look around. The round table hold is burned. Raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before. Which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you, either. You have my thanks, regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. You've done it, I see. What use do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the fingers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. <laughs> You'd force this tired old crone to work, even now. Ah, harder taskmaster have I never met. Now, go forth. Do what you believe is right.
this one. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to quit. And my promise to Queen America. But do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl.
become my blade once more. unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. It is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Burning. In the 
ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. Ah, uh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now. But maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness. In whatever small way I can. Please. Become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord. To him. So slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god. Marika. Who cursed us all. face. I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. Chosen, tarnished, and would-be lord, Descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the Three Fingers and the Flame of Frenzy. Burn the Erd Tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take. The world!
I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, you're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. It was practically a god. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. You are ready then, I take it? Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior, Iron Fist Alexander. Lend me strength, O oh warriors within. Let us become one champion. Thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go, as a warrior jar, in search of glory. Wow. Cuz, are these insights from Uncle Alexander? <sighs> Thank you, cuz. I'm a warrior jar, so I need to be strong. I can really have them, right? I understand. I'll get strong. Strong enough. I deserve to have Uncle's insights. I don't think I'll see you again. When I set out. Warriors are supposed to work alone. Goodbye, cuz. And thanks for everything. I'll never forget you, cuz. I'll never forget you, cuz.
stand before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle. faith with his own. <laughs> Could there be a more pitiable comedy? Look at it. The culmination of perfection. Burning before our very eyes. Will made a mistake. 
torment, despair, affliction, every sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so, what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the yellow chaos flame, until all is one again. Those who gave me grapes howled without words, saying they wished they were never born. Become their lord, take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, and melt it all away. As the lord of chaos, no more fractures, no more. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey. The first. Elden Lord.
battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture.
fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord in our home across the fog the lands between our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of order The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord in our home across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of the Duskborn. The fallen leaves tell a story 
of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. Our age. 